I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. It's nice to meet you, David. It's nice to meet you, too. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, David, I, uh, I hear you, um, I hear you have, um, you've moved into a town recently, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Do you like your new town that you moved into? I love it. You do? Mm -hmm. What do you love about it? The predictability. Yeah. Everybody is predictable. And I love that. Makes everything easier, doesn't it? It does. Doesn't it does. It, 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 doesn't it even make you smile when you know what they're going to say before they say it, and they say it, and it just makes you smile, and it makes you all the more charming, doesn't it? I mean, you have a winning smile. You know that, don't you? Well, thank you. You do. And you have a really nice personality. And um, tell me a little bit. Tell me a little bit about where you came. Personality. Yeah, it's it just I feel that. Why do you think I have a nice personality? Because of your winning smile. I still remember that. I think you, you should. Were you expecting me to say that? No, I wasn't. Good. Then I'm unpredictable. That makes it interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Well, tell me, tell me about where you came from, David. Remember, you're talking to yourself. I'm a voice in your head. I'm not going to say a word to anyone. I promise. You want to know where I came from? Yeah. I, uh, I... I don't really like talking to people. Mm -hmm. I'm not a person. I'm you. Uh, you're a person. I'm you? Of course I'm a person. <coughs> I come from shit. Mm -hmm. My mother was a whore. I come receptacle. Mm. A hole to put your dick in. Mm. She was a saint. She was a real saint. Oh, yeah. Didn't it make you sick? That she was so. fucking mother. You know, most people spend their Wednesday nights sitting on a couch, watching TV, mm. talking about movies or their lives or their relationships or mm. what they're going to do. Right. You want to know how I spent my Wednesday nights? Tell me. Wednesday nights. This is my favorite. My mother, she would, <coughs> when she wasn't working. Right. By working, I mean fucking. Right. Um, when she wasn't working, <coughs> she would bring people over to the house. Mm -hmm. Usually, sometimes 10 people, sometimes 20. I never knew. Couldn't ask. What did she do to you? Did she put you in a room? She would line the man up. I don't know why she did it at the time. I don't know why I didn't even say anything. Repeatedly rape me, take turns while she watched. She touched herself. I'll never forget that smile on my head as I'm crying, begging her to stop. But she doesn't. She doesn't. My own mother. Some things you just can't change. Mm -hmm. We are who we are. Yeah, we are. And here we are. And here we are. And here we are, new city, new town. Now, tell me about last week. Um, 
What about that girl that went off at you that you were trying to oh, bring home? Oh, about my mother again. What about Liz? Did you meet a girl in a bar called Liz? Oh, Liz, yeah. And you tried to give her some money? Mm-hmm. She got all huffy with you? Yeah. She made things more complicated. You know, it's like anything else. Right. When you kill someone. Have you ever killed someone? No. It's quite exhilarating. It's quite fun, actually. Mm -hmm. The first time you do it, I threw up. I threw up. I'm not sure if it was because I was so astonished at the fact that all these fantasies and all these things I held in my mind for so long, I could actually do. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was just the fact that I could... You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. See, the last, a person's last few seconds, they're completely vulnerable. They cry out with the kids inside them, because mm -hmm. they already have. Cry out for the mothers, the dads, looking at them like they're going to help them, but they can't. Mm -hmm. And then you get to decide whether you kill them or not. You decide. How many times and have you had to make, make that decision? decision? What decision? To kill them or not. How many times? At first, it never really crossed my mind. Mm. First, I just wanted to have sex with these women. You know, I wanted to feel. And that's why I like horrors. Mm. You know, they're so reluctant mm. just to get a quick buck. You have to listen to them talk. Lies and all that bullshit. Because I don't care. I don't give a fuck. But isn't that why you pay them? So you don't have to listen to that? Mm hmm. Theoretically, I guess. Well, maybe it's your style. I mean, maybe, I mean, if you're listening to them, you must like it. Or maybe you have that kind of face that you make people feel comfortable with. You ever think about that? Not really. Okay. Well, so, the question I asked was, how many people have you killed? Just two. Just two. Tell me about the first one. First one. Well, I had no intention of killing her. We. I like this girl. Yeah. She wasn't a whore. Oh. She was a person to me. Right. Which I'll never make this mistake again. Took her back to my place, we started talking. Things got a little out of hand. We started, I don't even remember what we're talking about. She started yelling at me. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. So, I just wanted to calm her down, grabbed her neck, not too hard, not too, finally, I just wanted to, you know, get her to calm down, you know, mm -hmm. listen to what I'm saying, but she wouldn't, so I grabbed on and I held it tighter, mm -hmm. and then I held it tighter, mm -hmm. until she couldn't breathe anymore, mm -hmm. and I couldn't let go, I wanted to, I just I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to let go, I wanted just to keep holding on. It felt so fucking good. Mm -hmm. And at the time, it did scare me. Mm -hmm. But it gets easier. So, what did you do? Did you bury her? Did you, I mean, I mean, when you have a body. You want to know all the juicy details? No, no, I don't really want to know all the juicy details. Hey. Pardon me? Yeah, you talk. Okay. <laughs> Of course I want to know. Why Why do you think I'm asking? I'm not like... Oh, I'm to... predictable. I love it. Love it. Good. So? So. Well. I'm not crazy. Of course you're not. You know that? No, I know. So. <sighs> took her clothes off. Mm -hmm. You know, I dated this girl for Dating. I was seeing this girl for three months. Mm -hmm. I never saw her naked. 
Mm -hmm. much. You know, that's all I thought about. Just talking about all this and talking about all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I liked her and everything, but, you know, I just, you know, I just had that thing, you know, that thing. I just want to know what pussy looked like, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, what it tasted like. What I could do to it, you know, if, if she didn't intervene. So this was like a little necrophilia, too, that we're into. Maybe. Maybe? It's yes or no. I told you I'm not crazy, okay? I, I didn't say that. I said necrophilia. Necrophilia. People only use that term when they think people are crazy. I didn't say that. I wasn't being judgmental. You're being judgmental on yourself. There you go again. Let's skip all the, the details there. I kind of I kind of got the picture, okay? And then I don't like to talk. I cut about her up piece by piece, limb by limb, mm -hmm. put it in my freezer, yeah. rolled it up in plastic, and saved it. Mm -hmm. So every time I wake up in the morning and open my refrigerator, <coughs> I get to see those things every day, and it reminds me. But that was before you moved, all right? Yep. So then you you moved, mm -hmm. and you're living you're living in where? Where's Venice Beach? Venice Beach, California. And did you actually kill someone there right? with a gun, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And and five guns were fine. You you got you got a gun. You you, you bought it online, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And didn't you have to register for it? They say you do, but I mean, there's, it's so easy to get a gun. But you did make a mistake. You had to buy bullets with the gun. And you couldn't buy them online. And when you went in, you made the mistake of giving them your driver's license, right? <coughs> yeah. Well, but so far, nothing's turned out. Nothing. Okay. All right. So, to now, didn't you make a little connection with the bartender there? Mm -hmm. What's her name? I don't remember. I think it was Crystal. Crystal? Yeah. And, um, and I think she sort of felt sorry for you in the way that Liz attacked you. Yeah. Right? Bitch. So, um, but you acted innocent, and and you managed to connect yeah. with Crystal. Mm -hmm. And tonight is your date night. So you've gone out to the movies. You took her to dinner, and now she's coming. You asked her if she wanted to come up for a drink. So she's going to come up for a drink. Okay. And you're not decided, you've not decided what you're going to do because you like her. You like her. I mean, so far. All right? We'll see if it lasts. Never does. Close your eyes. <laughs> 